Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you some new things which you probably don't know. I'm going to be showing you some new mechanics and new ways to get around the map and some of them are really cool. You're going to want to see them. There is some new tech in the game which allows you to basically fly through the map and with the new momentum system, it works perfectly. But movement isn't the only thing I'm going to be talking about in this video as I'm going to be showing you some new things which you might not know as well. If you guys enjoy or learn something new, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and as always, hope you enjoy. Okay, first up, we've got what I like to call the triple jump. To do this you do the double jump but then right as Aiden groans if you press your left click or your melee button it will further project you up into the air. This is extremely useful and I use it in my day to day parkour. It's very useful for getting up ledges which you otherwise couldn't make. Although using it with the double jump isn't the only thing you can do. You can also do it when jumping off the head of zombies. So if you use your zombie jump thing when you jump on their heads and then you time it right you can actually elevate yourself further as you can see in the clip. Here's a normal jump and here's the jump with the tech. But that is still not it. There is another way it can be used. As you know, when you do a takedown, you have the option to press space after and you do a jump. Although it always annoyed me that the jump was so small that you couldn't even go anywhere with it. But with this tech, you can jump even higher after taking down an enemy. So you can take an enemy down and then safely get on top of a building. <clears throat> Attention please. This video is sponsored by Boosteroid, an all-in-one cloud gaming platform. With this, you get unlimited access to AAA games. I have personally used this service and I can assure you, it does not disappoint. You can turn any of your screens into a game console be it your phone, tablet, monitor or laptop. You can play all your favourite games wherever and whenever, including Dying Light 2. You can use this even with outdated hardware. You get all this and much more for a small monthly fee. I'll leave a link to this down in the description of the video, so be sure to sign up for it with my link. Anywho, alright next up we've got the ground pound. Now usually to do a ground pound you need to be airborne, however you can actually do a ground pound while you are crouched or just standing still. Now I currently don't know how to do it, I do it by accident sometimes literally. I'll try my best to figure out how to do it exactly, but if anybody knows do let me know in the comments. But there is a way to do a ground pound from a static position, that's all I can give right now. Next up, so with the new update, toughness boosters actually make so that volatiles do absolutely no damage to you whatsoever. Um, I'm not sure about lower levels, but definitely the high levels, they do no damage. As you can see right now, I'm taking absolutely no damage from the volatiles. So it is 100% crucial that you have them. A regen booster as well would be helpful, as you can still take damage from spits. But when it comes to just their melee attacks, they, they can't do anything. Next up! Okay, so if you guys equip these triple jump shoes, which you get from the Easter egg, the Mario one. And you jump three times. Go to photo mode. And just spam it. you ascend into the sky <laughs> so yeah you basically can just fly with these shoes it's pretty cool you may have known you may not have known i don't know next up the super drop kick <laughs> This is what happens when you just watch Spider-Man. I'm going to show you guys how you do the super drop kick. Okay, so the first thing which you're going to need to learn is the grapple bash. So you basically got to grapple by pressing your alt. And then as he releases the grapple, you press shift and left click. So like this. And you'll do a dash forward. But, hold on. If you do it on a wall, I mean you go far, but not as far as if you do it on the floor. Not right in front, but a bit ahead, like that. You fly forward. Just like that. And then if you just pair that with a drop kick at the end. You fly even further. But it's going to be tricky at first. You're not going to be able to do it immediately. It's going to take you a bit to get used to the timings. Because there is a very specific timing of which you have to do the dash. As the hook gets released, you quickly press shift and then your left click very quickly. And you do the dash forward and you have to have the max level grappling hook available to you you can't you can't do this on a low level grappling hook once you do that you just pair it with a drop kick and you fly even further if you want to get some more distance you go on top of a roof and then you fly flew all the way from up there down to here in two seconds i hope they don't take it out of the game i don't want it to get patched out because it's fun to do it's literally one of the reasons I'm playing the game right now, because of how fun it is just doing this. 
Anyway, on to the next thing. Now I've got a very dumb one here which really should not be in the game. But you can actually just clip through any wall you want. So if we vault onto this ledge and then just simply left click and do a swing kick. As you can see, hold on. You can swing through any wall you want just like that. And we are inside the building. You can also come out wherever you want, wherever there's a gap. But just like that, we have popped through the ceiling. And you can do this anywhere where there's a vaulted, a vaulted place. I could do it right here if I wanted to. There we go. You can you can just go through any wall just like that? It's it's ridiculously stupid. Like, why? How, why is why 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 can I do this? This this shouldn't be allowed. But yeah, there you go. Next up, another thing which you guys may not know is that you can actually use camouflage and it works around volatiles now. So before the good night good luck update, camouflage would work on normal zombies, but it wouldn't work on any special infected like goons or volatiles. Now, if I take it, the volatiles themselves can't even see me, so I can basically just run around in the night for as long as I want without being seen, basically. I'm free to roam and do as I please, although of course if I hit them, it wakes them up. But I can go as close to them as I want, do what I want, and they won't attack me. But let's see if they can still chase us after we camouflage. Or do we lose chase? Okay, so you can literally camouflage mid-chase and it, it will- Oh, are you good? The zombies don't even follow you or start coming out the vents like they would normally. So get yourself some camouflage. So the ne next thing you may not know is essential to movement in this game is actually just the slide jump. Now this should be used all the time, it's the best move in the game by far. You can literally do a far jump just from sliding. Enemies struggle to hit you if you do this, I say that as I got hit, they can still hit you with the, like arrows and stuff. As melees you can literally just dodge and weave between them, kind of just weave in between them without getting hit. It's also the fastest thing to do is to gain momentum as well. There is a whole war going on here. Hey, chill. But yeah, this is by far the best move. And I don't see a lot of people utilizing it as much as they should be doing. It's faster than just sprinting, so you should literally just be spamming this to get around the map as fast as possible like I am now. Anyway, boys, that is all for this video. I do have some more, but I will save that for another video. If you want to see another part to this, then get this video to 200 likes and I'll make another part. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.